Well, for more on this Washington State program, the radio voice of the Cougars, Matt Chazanow, he joins us here on Inside Slant on Inside Pac-12 Football here on the Pac-12 Networks presented by Farmers Insurance. And Matt, pleasure having you on the show. This was this was a big win. And, and maybe you look at the opponent, you say maybe not because it's Oregon State, but how important was it for the Cougars to get the victory and to follow up on the win that they had against Oregon? Uh, immensely. And I think it's about building an identity. I think it's about uh, believing in yourself as a team and you go back to back wins and you do it the way they did it. Six first half touchdown passes for Falk, no turnovers in the first half, scoring over 50, they scored 45 in the first half. Uh, it, it was a significant win. Um, internally, I talked to some of the other media guys locally and uh, said um, that this was the more important game than the Oregon game for that exact reason, to prove that they, uh, to prove they could do it back to back. Matt, numbers aside, Luke Falk, he has this poise about him. It seems like in a big moment when his team needs him, he's going to come through. Did it against Rutgers. They were down in the fourth against Oregon. He's able to lead that rally, get it done in overtime as well. What level of confidence right now is he playing with? Uh, huge level of confidence, as he should be. Um, it's funny, you know, he, he had two interceptions coming into last game. Now, he threw a couple in the second half. Uh, but he has the second best pass completion percentage to this point of any Mike Leach quarterback going back to Texas Tech. Wow. He's one spot better than Tim Couch from back at Kentucky when Coach Leach was there in the air raid system there. And he's just one under the uh, Washington State wide receivers assistant coach Graham Harrell. Uh, I'm sure they go back and forth a good bit at practice <laughs> yeah. about it. He, he's playing with extreme confidence right now. You know, Matt, over the last couple of seasons with Mike Leach, you know, we're always talking about their offense, and rightfully so. But defensively, they got a safety, Shalom Luani, who's now had a couple game-clinching moments uh, over the last couple of weeks or so. Some big plays. You can maybe make the argument, maybe he's the biggest hitter on this team. We had a chance to talk to him during the training camp tour. This is a soccer player who is now <laughs> playing football. How has he helped turn around this defense? Uh, he's one of the biggest hitters on the team, and, and, and people I've talked to around the league said he's one of the biggest hitters in, in the Pac-12, which in turn makes him one of the biggest hitters in the nation. He's forcing fumbles. He's the kind of guy that goes in fearlessly and sets a tone for the whole defense. And, and I think that with first-year coordinator Alex Grinch um, coming in and, and trying to, to, to put his stamp on, on the team's defense, not only did Luani, who's the Pac-12 Defensive Player of the Week um, for his performance against Oregon State, um, not only did he have the game ceiling pick against the Ducks, he's, he's forced those fumbles. He had an 84-yard pick six, flashing off the speed as well. He's a Juco guy, so this is his first year here in Pullman. Uh, and he's just been a total stud. Yeah, actually scored a, a goal in World Cup qualifying for American Samoa. The guy's got some foot speed as well. You know, you mentioned you just dropped Alex Grinch's name, first-year defensive coordinator. You look at some of the statistics, and in some major categories, there's been some pretty significant improvement on that side of the football. What's he doing right now to get some results? I, I think part of it is, is his energy. Uh, it's been interesting because I go to practice a lot. It's been interesting to see how practice has resulted in plays on the field. You know, the other thing that's pretty wild is, is against Oregon, Freeman had all those rushing yards, but at the end of the game when it counted, they forced key three and outs. And I think that uh, it's, it's really been building from uh, all the way back in fall camp, and uh, there's a lot of confidence there right now. So what is it for this next game for Washington State? They're, they're on the road against an Arizona team, a game that we have here on the Pac-12 Network. Noon Pacific is when the coverage begins here. What do the Wildcats do that could create fits, not only for that defense, but Washington State in general? Well, I, I, I think that it, with Rich Rod's system, it, it's sort of the obvious in, in what he wants to do, but also with the way they subbed in the quarterbacks last game, the running quarterback, when you spread the field like that, is deadly. And, and the running game for Arizona has been their strength offensively. I, I think that running quarterback spot, when they put the wide receivers wide to each boundary, uh, it's going to be a key part of the game to see how Grinch and Lawani uh, and, and, and the defensive line for the Cougs uh, manage that. Oh, really looking forward to see these two teams go head-to-head, -head, especially when we're expecting a whole lot of points to be scored. Matt, appreciate the time. Great insight. And, of course, we'll be trying to catch you throughout the course of the season on the radio as well. All right, Mike. Thanks very much. Thanks for the time. Good to be with you guys.